What's up, business heroes? I'm recording this on May 4th, so happy National Self-Employed Day. That's right. We finally have a day on the calendar. It is officially the inaugural National Self-Employed Day. Also, May the 4th be with you. Here's the deal. To commemorate the occasion, I thought this would be a great time to take the wrappings off a new web design. Up until now, selfemploymentsidekick.com has been a really boring blog. It's just been a list of posts and a sidebar with a little bit more information and some links, but I want it to be more than that. I want to highlight some of the resources I'm putting together, some of the workshops and courses that will become available in the near future. But I did all of this design work on another test server. It's not even a staging site that I could just flip the switch. And originally I was going to just rebuild the website step-by-step step during a live stream and kind of use that as a little Elementor tutorial. And I did that, but I only got so far. This is what selfemploymentsidekick.com looks like uh, at the time I'm recording this. Not nearly as polished as where I wanted to end up. But instead of taking hours more to finish my homepage, is there a way I can copy and paste this design to my other site? Yes, there is, thanks to Elementor's template feature. So in the dashboard down by the update button, I can click this arrow and choose to save this as a draft so it doesn't publish live, or I can save as template. And I can save the entire page to a library I'm going to just call this new home. So there it is right there in my templates along with a few other things. This is a great feature if you want to have multiple pages with different content, but kind of using the same general structure. You can create your first page, get that set up the way you want, and then save it as a template. And then when you create a new page, you can pull that template down and make the modifications that you want, publish it, saves you a ton of time. But how can I get this onto another site? Well, over here, I can click this three dot menu toggle and choose export. That downloads a dot JSON file to my computer that I can go and import on my other site. Let's do that now. All right, we'll click back over to my main site and I'm gonna scroll underneath here. I'm gonna delete this later, but I will click on templates and up here I can import a template to my library. I can select the file that I just downloaded. I will enable and import because I have SVG files on my other site. Don't have that feature enabled. It just imported the template. And now I can insert and that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Where's my template? Hold up. All right. This is a good thing. This, uh, this gives us an opportunity to troubleshoot this. This might happen to you. Elementor recently updated the way that they build pages from column-based layouts to container-based layouts. The new design was using containers. I don't think I have containers enabled on the current website, so let's do that now. It might be blocking that theme from importing or uh, applying to the page because it's not set up to handle that. So let's jump into the dashboard and under Elementor settings, under features, we are going to set the Flexbox container to active. Save changes and try this again. All right. Oh, where'd you go? There it is. Look at you. All right. Still has the old uh, header and footer, but I can bring those over the exact same way as a saved template element or I can just, you know, that's easy enough to tweak. But that is a quick and easy way to take a style from one site and import it to another using Elementor's template feature. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and check out selfemploymentsidekick.com to see the new site in all of its glory. You just got a sneak peek, so you know you'll find a lot of great free resources and learn more about some of the workshops and courses I'll be rolling out in the near future. Self-employment doesn't have to be by your self-employment. If you're a solopreneur or a small business owner, I want to help you out any way I can. You can check out the resources on the website. You can book a free or pay-as-you-want 15-minute brain-picking session with me. I'm here to be your sidekick. This is the way. I'll see you in the next one.